How to create new arrivals collection in your Shopify store. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will take you step by step on how to achieve this. Now, this is going to be the best way possible that I personally found out. Um, and I will just show you how to create it easily. So let's just go ahead and get started real, real quick by going to the products section from our Shopify admin. Once you click on your products here, you should find the list of all the products that you want, but it's not necessary to do anything here. We wanted to instead go to the collections tab right beneath products. So just go ahead and click on collections. And then from here, you basically want to create, uh, create a new collection. So click on create a collection from the top right. Now in here, obviously, you would want to set things up accordingly. So the first thing is going to be uh, naming it new arrivals. Now here you can also feel free to name it something else related, uh, but I'm just going to name it new arrivals here. You can feel free to add a description to it. So, you know, describing that these new items, uh, you know, the items in this collection are pretty much, you know, brand new and so on. So I'm not, I'm not really going to bother adding a description as this is only an example. But anyways, now we can also add an image if you want. Uh, feel free to do so if you would like. Just click on add image. Uh, upload an image and then you can just use it i'm just going to use this one why not uh, so i highly suggest that you actually do use an optimized image it does give you a better look to the collection it, like you can you know design something in canva that says new rivals and so on but anyways the most important part here is actually going to be uh, selecting the actual uh, rules that are going to apply uh, and how we are going to be adding the new arrivals easily so in the future so in the collection type you would want to go to automated because i believe you know personally i've tried this and it's the best way possible uh, and basically we want to once you click on automated the conditions tab does actually show up uh, so in here you basically want to set up the conditions that you know if this condition is met then the product is just automatically going to be to uh, going to the new arrivals collection so I will be using the tag uh, option. I believe it's the best. Uh, and then here I just want to set it to be is equal to. And then in here you could do something like new. Let's just set it up to be new. Now this is going to be more than enough for it to work. And I'm just going to save it as it is. And I will show you now how it's actually going to work. So now it should be a product that has the tag new is going to be automatically added to the new arrivals um, collection. So let's just go back to products now. And let's just go ahead and add the new product. Uh, let's just call it purple for the time being. Because, you know, for the for examples, I just, you know, use colors as products as if. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's just go and add the uh, pricing point, uh, the uh, quantity and so on. But most importantly now, Whenever you want to add a new product and you want it to be automatically automatically transferred to the collection, as you go to the tags section here and add the same tag that you added in there, which is, well, new. So now that this is set, we can just go ahead and click on save. And we are pretty much good to go. Now this collection is actually added, uh, or this product, sorry, is actually added to my collection. So if we just go back to collections and click on new arrivals, it should say product zero for the time being because it, thought it did not refresh yet. But let's just give it a little bit of time. And it should actually add the purple in it automatically. Again, let's just go ahead and give it a little bit of time. Sometimes Shopify does take a little bit more time for it to load. But I guarantee you that it should be actually in here. So I'll just pause and try to refresh a few times until it actually works. I didn't even need to pause. It was the next refresh and it was already in here. Now... This is pretty much all good to go. The only thing left for you to do is just go to your online store and you can just add your collection. Now, I'll just show you how to add the collection and end it here. Uh, just, you know, in case you don't know how to do it. Now, you can just go in and add a section, uh, future collection, and then you can just go in and select the collection. But since I already have a collection in here, I will just adjust it to become the collection that I want. So we just go in and click on it. And then from here, we just want to click on collection, change, and then change collection, select the new arrivals, and hit select. Now, this is pretty much all for this video. Hopefully, you found this video to be helpful, and thanks for watching.